A search for a photo, a prison sentence for a painting. More and more often news about the detention of sculptors, filmmakers, photographers and authors of performances began to appear in Russia. Those who, through art, express disagreement with the Putin regime. An artist is a person without skin. He or she feels everything around more painfully and reacts to what is happening more acutely, more sincerely. This is a completely natural process of resistance by a citizen. We will not talk about those who simply serve this regime and build their careers on the service. Very momentary, caliphs for an hour. All these shamans with their stand up lie down. These are all crickets flying on fire. This has nothing to do with art. Recently, an artist was detained in Pirm, the author of a 37-point graffiti about what can and cannot be done in Russia. The list of what not to do was much longer. After the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Pirm resident Artyom, who hides his face, began to create graffiti on the buildings of the city. But the local authorities painted over them almost immediately after they appeared. The theme of the work is anti-war. I draw because at the moment no one has the right to be silent. Artem, Russian artist, in an interview with Medusa. Russian publications later reported that the artist was released without a protocol being made. But the artist Alexandra Skochilenko has been in a pre-trial detention center since April 13. She is accused of spreading fake news about the Russian army and faces up to 10 years in prison. The criminal prosecution is related to the fact that that at the end of March she replaced the price tags in the store with leaflets with information about the actions of the Russian military in Mariupol. In the autumn, the Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs put Maxim Yevstropov, one of the founders of the Party of the Dead, a group of anonymous artists, on the federal wanted list. Yevstropov left Russia after the start of a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. In the spring, he held several anti-war actions in cemeteries in St. Petersburg and other cities. Now Yevstropov is charged with insulting the feelings of believers. He himself writes that the reason is not at all in them. The reason for the criminal case was our Easter post with an impartial statement about Patriarch Kirill, who supports the war and worships the president's ass. Maxim Yevstropov, Russian artist on the webpage of the social network Vkontakte. Putin is not the first dictator to fight creativity that does not want to serve his interests. In Nazi Germany there was a term degenerate art, recognized as harmful, anti-German and Jewish. In 1937 a special commission was created to remove harmful art from German museums. Hitler and now Putin was afraid of the ability of art to make a person think, to evoke feelings and emotions. The state, especially the dictatorship, does not need a reflective society for which pain, compassion, sympathy, shame are essential factors in their life. They need a society which, at their call, stands up to arms and, without asking questions, goes to the territory of another state, and then returning accepts thin confidence without complaint and even barring their sons, brothers, without grumbling. Therefore, detentions and arrests do not apply to those figures of Russian culture who produce art in the form that Russian authorities need. For example, members of the so-called social movement Cultural Front. This organization was recently established at the initiative of the State Duma. Even earlier, the Russian Ministry of Culture determined topics for films for which money from the state budget will be allocated. Among them are, for example, the neo-colonial policy of the Anglo-Saxon world, the degradation of Europe and the heroism of Russian warriors. The Kremlin is willing to pay big money for pseudo-patriotic works. Russia works according to the classic fascist methodology where propaganda should influence through cinema, through music, through such cultural trends which could raise the soul of the people. But Russians now do not have that idea for which they could hook on. So those who try to oppose the Putin regime through their art are in the minority, reported by Sergei Kulas, Angelika Brushnevska, UATV News.